What's up everyone? I decided to go to Ikea this week because I really needed to upgrade my desk. My desk just cannot hold anything. It's so small. So I decided to go with my parents to go buy a nice little, uh, not little, like a huge desk and a cute drawer. I saw it on Pinterest. I thought it was a great idea. So I really wanted to build it myself. My dad helped me and I thought the results were really great and I'm really happy with it. I'm the definition of a mess. So sleek, unfortunately it does not look like this anymore. Okay, so this is again my recreation of the Simonette arm cardigan thingy. I was able to finish the sleeve this week, but I have another one that I'm still working on because it takes forever because it's ridiculously long. Um, but yeah, this is just me showing you kind of the increases that kind of go in a V-shape, which I think is the coolest thing that I've ever done. And yeah, I didn't want to rush, didn't want to force myself to get a final product out today, but uh, hopefully it'll be done this week and I can get a pattern, which would be really awesome. But yeah, I've been really conscious about how I sit and knit, so hopefully my hands don't hurt in the future. I've just finished counting all of them. Holy moly, I want to die, but I'm ready to put them in. So, um, I'm just shuffling this. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> okay, we found you a blue turtleneck oversized sweater with sheep or flowers. <gasps> oh my god, dude, I'm messaging her. I'm messaging her right now and she's so sweet. She like, did she like messaged me right away right after she um, saw my Instagram post. Oh no, oh no, what have I gotten myself into? Sorry, I was planning on making the giveaway and then creating a pattern, so if you guys wanted to make it too, you could. Um, like if you like the design, she wants a, a blue turtleneck oversized sweater with sheeps or flowers. She told me I could decide. The question is flowers or sheeps. I think I'm gonna do flowers because I think we're doing sheeps for another project. I'm excited. I think I might do either flower embroidery or incorporate flower in the sweater. Oh, so many choices. So much intarsia or embroidery. <laughs> There's too many decisions. Like I think we're doing balloon sleeves for sure. Or should we do straight? But she wants oversized. I don't know what to do. I think my goal for this week and for the weeks that are coming up, I want to try and get ready every morning so that, you know, it feels like I'm getting ready for the day instead of just being in my PJs all the time. You guys know that I watch a ton of shows and movies on this channel, but I really want to get back into reading. I've been listening to audiobooks while I knit, and I find that I feel really productive because I'm accomplishing two things at once. A great place to get audiobooks is Chirp. Chirp is an audiobook retailer that offers amazing limited time deals. Chirp offers hundreds of books that you can choose from that are up to 95% off. Unlike other retailers, there are no subscription fees. Recently, I've been listening to The Goldfinch. If you look at the featured deals on the website, you can see that it's only $4.99 right now, and it's crazy when I have a promo code. If you use my promo code Tiffany5, you can get five bucks off your first purchase. If you guys just go and use my code right now for the Goldfinch, you can get it for free and just try it out. I also got Killing Eve, which is only like $3. Yeah, you can find the promo code and the link to the website in my description below. <laughs> Hope you check it out. Oh yeah, update everyone. I found the fabric needle. It was on the ground. Cause I'm, I'm, I'm very unorganized for some reason. This one was really fun to sew. Usually I hate sewing, but it was really fun seeing the V's come together and actually work out. Cause I was really winging it with the design. I finished the sleeve in the stream today. Perfect. And time to put it together. Ooh, I finally finished Parks and Rec, which is also insane to think that I finished 
seven seasons of that in maybe like a couple weeks but i'm really excited to watch other stuff as well uh, if you guys have any recommendations someone told me i have to watch the good place so that is definitely on my list I did an outfit change because you you can't really wear anything under this cardigan I find that it crinkles really kind of gross so this is me in a random top I I thought it looked really nice not gonna lie it's very <laughs> I do wish it was like bigger if that makes any sense like like because it's rib it, it it scrunches inwards very easily and so I want it to be more spaced out but what can I do I'm not gonna redo it so this is me doing the second sleeve just chillax and not rushing her Oh my god, but I finally got my winder in the mail, so I've been making progress on getting all these balls <laughs> into cakes. And so, yeah, I don't know why I thought balls were the answer, because it's so hard to knit, because the ball just rolls around everywhere. But with cakes, you can just get the thread in the middle, and it doesn't move or anything. And it's so freaking cute, and you can stack them up on each other, and it's a great way to save space. So this is me just reorganizing all of my knit stuff. I, I did a stream where I was just caking, which is so fun. So you can see if you want to see a live uh, version of it instead of it being sped up. But even without it being sped up, it's so fast. It's so fun. Um, a girl from the stream told me to use a bowl and so you can see me struggling trying to hold it and put it on the ground but the bowl is the way to go. I think the winder is a great investment. Everyone has been telling me to get one and I've gotten a lot of people on the Discord ask me like whether it's a good investment and, and yes, 100%. If you're like an avid knitter or a crocheter, it just makes sense. And all these, a lot of the excess yarn that I have is all like from unraveled stuff. So a lot of the sweaters that I had that I wanted to unravel. And so making them into cakes just make it so much easier. And if you're wanting to work with mohair, I've been told that you should 100% cake them before you do it because it can stick together in the ball. Yeah, are you freaking kidding me? Look at how adorable these things are. It's honestly like I'm so close to doing them for balls that like don't need them or like skeins or whatever. And today I just got my, oh shoot, what's it called? The the wooden, the huge wooden block thing. Oh my God, the Swifter. I just got the, my Swifter in the mail today. I wasn't able to film anything, but I will next week because I have a couple um, Hanks. Oh my god, this, honestly, knitting has so much jargon, it's ridiculous, I'm learning so much, but like, Hanks are the things that are like, I don't, like, twisted, like, they're like the braided kind of yarn things, and I finally have a thing to use it for, so I'm very happy for that. Yeah, but not gonna lie, this took me like one or two days to even get anywhere, like, I didn't realize how long it takes to wind these things, but... It's so fun. Like, look at it. It's so mindless, but I just wanted something simple to do that you, f it honestly, you feel so accomplished <laughs> after just like winding up a, a cake. And it's really relaxing. 
and i just wanted to relax this week this week was all about relaxing we didn't want anything crazy i was on my period so you know i needed to relax like i got a headache i napped for four hours woke up for an hour went back to sleep for another six hours so Oh my, lots of before and afters, but yeah, this is most of my yarn. I am a hoarder and I admit that and I'm totally okay with it. Um, but hopefully I have projects to make with these things, even though I bought a shit ton of yarn for the future projects. So anyway, thank you for watching. <laughs>